for nothing. That's why I gotta be your life for something. But since I ain't in the hood blazing dudes, I guess I'm supposed to be living good raising youths. But the hood is mad. It's kind of mental. Well, it's as mental as it is physical. Everyone here is cynical and it's all fucking awkward. My family's stuck in my hood and you're stuck in your hood. And when I say we're stuck in the hood, that means heads ain't getting exposed. And if heads ain't getting exposed, then no one's got an open mind. See, I'm dealing with words of a spoken kind, but others before me wrote them fine. And for madam to know would require reading, and we know niggas ain't so inclined. So we're stuck in the hood. But you know what a hood does? It absorbs the rain and it blocks out the sun. It stores the pain and it knocks out the fun. And just as sure as the good Lord has risen, the hood obscures your vision. The word ghetto started with the Jewish community, brother, but they never went brutishly shooting each other. Therefore, hood is not the same as ghetto. As with the synagogue populace, we are not synonymous. What makes our sin ominous is the fact that it's symbolic of the product of ignorance is prominence. Ignorance isn't bliss, it's an instrument for dominance. But we'll come back to that. So what's a hood? Slum after slum, back to back, where mum stack for jack and sons pack the strap to run bags of crack. And words fly around trying to describe our condition But at the end of the day it comes back to black I'm not one of them guys that pretends fam I'm not Chuck D I'm just a guy from the ends and I got lucky And in this position you see people listen to me So I guess I'm in a position to stop fuckery But I currently doubt if I should Cause as much as I wanna be out of the hood What's the point in running away Leaving behind my dogs and becoming a straight And I pose the same question to you once you've left for good, what do you suggest you should do? You're gonna jump through a window, let them figure it out, or hold open the door and shout, nigga, get out. Yeah. Things are all awkward between me and the mandem car. I'm still telling you what I'm still telling thugs, and we're still selling food, so I'm still selling drugs. And no one shook a police in the hood for the G's. I don't like the look of police, because they don't set foot on the street, so they can't sell the wood from the trees. How do you think they separate the good from the grease? I would, bet not, I would bet a thousand that nothing would change with better jobs and better housing. And as much as you dislike that, try not to murder me. Cause making that statement is third degree burning me, but we won't progress if we don't address the social elements that's burning we internally. I don't want to run away from the hood. I just want to be safe and just good so we can all prosper the way that we should. It's about narrowing the gap between the rich and the poor and not giving victims reason to snitch anymore and not deciding to body a man when we switch anymore and not deciding to fall out and bitch anymore. If you really need reasons, we can list many more, but you can look at your estate and find. A lot of the time, a hood is just a state of mind. My nigga said the places I've gone in relation to the estate that I'm from mean I'm allowed to do dirt to make it a lot. When Obama was sworn in after George was sworn in after Bill, I thought, yo, reality hits you harder than 25 pounds for that morning after Bill. <laughs> <laughs> See, the numbers have risen in terms of youngers in prison and people's hungers are driven in the London I'm living in, so everybody's over-promising and under-delivering. Look at your estate and find. More time, the hood is just a state of mind. Thank you.